Out of Marysville, an emergency dispatcher put to the test as she takes a 911 call from her very own home with her son's life at stake. KCRA3's Claire DeWan, tell us what happens. <coughs> Little Maverick was in the bedroom playing as his father moved furniture into the living room. When Robert Kimball returned, he knew something was wrong. Tried to contact him, see what's going on, realize he's choking. Kimball, a former orderly, tried to dislodge a metal washer that the infant had swallowed without any success. As it progressed and he started having more trouble breathing, it got to the bright red and then it, he just went pale in the face. Kimball decided to call 911 with his cell phone. On the other end was his fiance and a fellow dispatcher. He gave his personal information, including home address. That's when the dispatcher realized it was her own son who needed medical help. Mommy mode kind of hit like that's my son. I panicked. Then I'm like, you know what? I got to get him the help that he absolutely needs. Brittany Melcher's maternal instincts gave way to training and composure, despite her personal stake in the 911 call. Being behind the console and in a room that you don't have any interaction with anyone, you see firsthand now that you're someone's lifeline. You're their guardian angel in those few seconds that you're on the phone with them. She sent paramedics to her own home. They arrived just before Kimball was able to clear Maverick's airway of the washer, the one seen here in this x ray. Emotions came later. I'm very protective over him. And it definitely hit me when. Knowing that he could that that happen while I was watching him, and for Melcher, realizing the impact of her everyday job, we actually help make the lives of everybody that calls us so much better. In this case, that of her very own family. Yeah. In Marysville, Claire Dwan, KCRA3.